All right. In this video, we're going to try and push uh, qplot in ggplot uh, a little bit further than in the previous video. So, uh, first of all, let's load up ggplot2. And um, let's let's just remind ourselves what we were able to do. So, uh, if we qplot um, data equals jjj um, x equals height in meters and y equals uh, weight in kg. If we do that, we just get a very simple scatter plot. Okay? And now, if we add on geom equals line, we actually get the line. Now what's cool is that we can, uh, let's keep that there, is that we can actually combine a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, geom uh, options. So we can have line, we can also have point. So we get the points as well as the line. That that that's quite nice. And um, another one we can actually do, which is quite nice, is we can get a smooth um, a smooth line fitted to this as well. So that that's also uh, quite nice. Um, now something that's um, very powerful in uh, ggplot2 and something I really really like is that you can get lots of graphs very very easily. So for example if we wanted to qplot data equals jjj x equals height in meters and y equals weight in k. Uh, sorry, sorry, just we're going to get a little histogram um, with the bin width equals 0 0.075. But we want to get different graphs. If I, if I plot that, we get that. But what if I wanted to see if there was a difference in this distribution amongst the men and women in my data set? Well, that's extremely easy. Facets, tilde, and then sex. Sex is just a gender variable in this data set and um, oops sorry facets equals to that if we run that it's automatically um, create a new graph with, with, with different uh, things so so that's very very nice um, we can also use the gg save function we haven't seen this function yet the gg save function by default will take the last output so what we've got here the last output of a of, of a graph and we'll save it to a file so um, I, I'll just say I want that to go to um, my desktop and I want to call it uh, plot and then I can just put in the uh, extension I want PDF is a good way to go and it's just appeared uh, right there. And so I've now got that as a plot that I could do whatever I wanted with. And again, we can change the X labels, put in a, a, um, a title and whatnot. We saw how to do that in a previous video. So that, that's very nice, right? Very nice, easy way of getting a, a plot. Okay. Um, we're going to take a look at something called layers uh, briefly in, in ggplot. Um, and what we're going to do is modify a data set to be able to do that. So MMM, JJJ. If you remember that, we had a whole bunch of stuff, something a bit messy in sex. We had male, female, as well as F and M. Um, and then we've got people's names, uh, whether or not they, they start with an M. Sorry. But, and you can see some of them start with an M, some of them start with a J. So first thing we're going to do is just create ourselves a little new data set, MMM, JJJ, to plot. And uh, going to take a lot in that we've done Previously, we're going to use the, the if else statement. Um, so within, so all this is happening within the MMM JJJ data set. And now um, I want all this to happen. So I have to put it in between curly brackets because I'm going to change quite a few variables in one go. Um, so first of all, I want to keep track of which data set they were in. So data set. Is, and I'm going to use an if-else statement. 
So if the substring of um, MMM JJJ dollar name, if the first element of that, so substring takes the the string that starts at a particular position of a particular length, if that is equal to um, M, then it's the data set MMM. Otherwise, it's the data set JJJ. So that, that'll be the first thing we do. And then we separate this with a semicolon. And we're going to have um, the variable sex, which is just going to fix the previous variable sex to be the substring of sex of length 1. And so if we just take a quick look of MMMJJJ to plot, um, we first look at the data sets, where they came from, and if you look at sex, we don't long, longer have males and, and females. So just a little quick uh, fix, so to speak, to that data set. And now what we're going to do is create a plot. But we're not going to plot it straight away. We're going to save it. We're going to assign it to a variable. And remember, everything in, a, in R is an object, so we can do that. And so qplot um, data equals mmmjjj to plot, the data set we've just created. x equals height dot in dot meters. Whoops, meters. y equals um, weight dot in dot kg. Facets. We've seen this before, right? In a, up here, when we said facets equals uh, tilde sex. So facets now is going to be equal to um, tilde data set and then tilde um, sex. Okay. In other words, we want it to separate not just on data set but also on sex. And we're going to throw something else new in: color equals sex. So if we run that and we look at our terminal. Nothing's happened, right? Because we've just assigned all that to P. So now if I call P, and if we take a look at my plot, we see a nice little plot there, right? So we've got the scatter plot of all these variables, whether or not um, they're male or female, whether or not they're in JJJ or MMM. And we've also called it whether or not they're male and female as well. Okay? So that's, that's quite nice, but that's a first layer, so to speak. So we can... We can add to um, p, so we assign p to be p plus stat smooth, which is a ggplot function, and method equals ln. So now, if we run that, um, nothing's going to have changed. That's still there, but if I if I call up p again and look at p. You see it's actually fitted a line to this as well. So that's a plot with a lot of information on it. And then I could obviously use ggsave to save that plot, but I'd probably go in and change um, the x label and the y lab labels as well. So ggplot's a really uh, very powerful, um, uh, very powerful package. Hopefully, hopefully you see that. I mean, that graph's are, are of extremely high quality, and also it's got a lot of information on it very easily, just a few lines of code. Um, the big thing here is that we're, we're, we're using facets and we're using two variables in facets. Color equals sex, we could have changed color equals something else. And then we've got this point here where we add something to, to a graph. Um, so we add this other layer of uh, this, this, this smoothing using a linear, uh, using a linear model.